Hello friends, our next topic in this chapter is relation between electric field and electric potential. So we denote electric field as uh, like this and electric potential like this just for your clear understanding. So let us consider a positive test charge dq moves a distance dr from e one equipotential surface to another. If you consider two equipotential surfaces, okay, they are moving in a electric field. Okay, this is electric field and this is the direction of electric field, the arrow and E electric field. And here at this point A, that is equipotential surface A, there is this uh, charge DQ, okay, positive test charge DQ, which moves a distance dr. So let this be dr, okay, this distance will be dr. And here towards a point B okay towards this um, surface B at a point here a DQ moves from A to B at a distance dr okay huh that's so DQ move from A to B and uh, this one B uh, V plus Delta V and this one will be V okay so uh, this is I uh, just consider this and now DW that is work done work then will be equal to dq delta v this will be 1 dq delta v this will be 1 okay here dq with delta v dq delta v this will be work done and also we also know that what is the other formula for work done work done is equal to force into displacement that it is f dot dr and dot product means it's cos theta so it will be f dr cos theta f dr cos theta which will be equal to minus f dr why where does this y minus come from well the theta is 180 degree uh, and why is this theta 180 degree that's uh, nothing cause but it's cause uh, the direction of electric field is like this and how is a uh, DQ moving it's moving in opposite direction so obviously the electric field uh, the, I'm, I'm sorry the theta will be 180 degree and cause 180 will be equal to minus 1 so it is minus FDR okay, so DW that is work done will be equal to minus E DQ dr this is equation number two and now from equation one and two therefore from one and two from these two equations what do you observe the left hand side is uh, same right dw that is working so we can equate them dq delta v is equal to minus e dq dr if you are wondering where this minus e dq come from then it's nothing but f f can be written as e dq right so that's how we got this so minus e dq dr then the equation will be e equal to minus dv by dr We got that by moving this uh, dq, um, I'm, I'm sorry, dr below this uh, delta v. Okay, so minus e will be delta v by dr. Delta v is nothing but dv. So we can conclude that change of electric potential with distance okay so electric field is nothing but it is a change of electric potential with distance this is a very important question they might ask what is the relation between electric field and electric potential okay this relation between electric field and electric potential you just have a look at this again and take a screenshot if you think you need it okay now now direction of electric field 
along direction where potential decreases steepest so uh, from this uh, we can uh, know about two things that is direction of electric field and magnitude of electric field so what about the direction of electric field uh, so the direction of electric field along the direction where potential uh, decreases steepest direction of electric field will be along the direction where potential decreases steepest we get that from this equation okay and magnitude of electric field potential or displacement perpendicular to equal surface at that point so magnetic uh, magnitude of electric field will be potential displacement um, perpendicular to equal surface at that point so this two are not so much necessary but the other thing that is this uh, relation is very important this is just for you to know might be asked for one mark but i don't think this are asked for so many times and all but these are uh, this relation is very much important so just have a look at that